we're taking nachos here's a packet um away and that but like i said on a couple of other videos um we pre-make a lot of stuff so um we're at home so i'm pre-making uh the nacho mix up we're gonna have nachos for dinner tonight and then the other half um we're gonna cry back and freeze so this is what we put into our nachos all right so i've got nacho seasoning packet there was only one nachos in the store so we're using burritos um a couple of tins of tomatoes doesn't matter what they are uh kidney beans four mix garlic uh, onion garlic and a kilo of beef mints for the five of us and we'll take half of that away so um that's basically all we put in it oh and a tin of um tomato paste all right so diced the onions is some mushrooms so um, cut those up and then put those in as well and then the kids don't realize that they're getting some more veggies okay so I've got a pot warmed up put a little bit of oil in got it on a low heat so um I know some people say that you can't put the onion and garlic in at the same time you know they cook differently and garlic will burn um, but I just want to sweat them off a little bit and uh, let them soften so because, because I've got it on a low heat not a high heat um, it doesn't matter too much okay uh, same idea so the kids don't realize. Put the meat in yet. Um, I want all this to sort of cook out a little bit before I add the meat in so I can brown it up a little bit better. Um, I find if you throw the meat in uh, and then throw all these in, you um, have a mincemeat these days, got a lot of water in it anyway. But you cook all this down, get rid of some of the liquid in it, the water in them, then you've got more chance of browning up the meat a little bit better That's beans uh, four four bean mix it's, it's brine so um, always cook rinse these off clean the can out so I can recycle it Okay, so I've got a kilo of mints here. Um, normally, I'm just half that, or, but we're making a double batch. One for dinner tonight, and then the other half, or I'm gonna cry back it and freeze it. So, here. Mushrooms are now sort of browned up, lost some of its moisture good still up on a high heat I'll just crumble this in a bit I'm break it up as I go see the meat 
it's brown, a bit of water in it still, from the mints. Uh, but as you can tell, like the mushrooms are very blended into the meat. So hence why you put the mushrooms in, because the kids won't realise. And that's a veggie. Well, fungus veggie, anyway. Alright, seasoning. I'm sure somebody will tell me out there that the burrito mix and nacho mix are completely different and shouldn't be mixed, but hey, it's Mexican. And tomato paste. Got the beans in it, the tins tomatoes. Uh, just a little bit of water, I just rinsed out the tins with that much water and added that to it. Um, through there, I'll cook it out a little bit. Uh, so it's not so sloppy and then half of this will be for dinner tonight and the, half, the other half will cool down, cryovac it and freeze it to take camping with us. So we'll keep it in the freezer side or even if you don't have a freezer side, um, if you keep it in the fridge on the bottom, uh, one it will help keep the ridge, fridge cold but two it will slowly defrost so when it's time to have it for dinner it should be defrosted by then. Um, now, the second part of this video will be um, us cooking nachos in the camp oven. Uh, how we first it off and do it that way. Do of uh, nacho cooking. Um, so, I did the uh, nacho mix at home, and uh, we are getting the second half done for dinner tonight at Karingal. So. <laughs> Turning up all the... With a stupidly small knife when I should just grab out the bigger knife, but anyway. So we've got the capstan, <laughs> we've got cucumber. Just mix it all together. All mixed up in the bowl. And I'll put the bowl. That's what, that's what chopped capsicum and cucumber look like. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the corn chips here, salsa, just avocado in the tube. It's just easier to travel that way. Buller sour cream. Only Buller. Why wouldn't you be? Why would you buy any new sponsors? Um, <laughs> so we just use these foil containers. So the individual uh, just makes it easier, which you'll we'll see that later. And then in here we got the nacho mix. First lot in. Yeah. Should be oh, smoking. I don't like to see. Oh. Should be able to fit two in here. Like that. Not to burn yourself. Beans. Here, old boy. I'm putting some. Cool. 
Hey guys. Do you like it? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's right. You go, you guys, you go and do your... Yeah. Okay, so there's... So, no, could be you don't want anything else on yours? Okay, well, there's yours. Mine. Um, yes, mine. And we also have the special guest. So you'd like... You'd like some of these? I like um, can I have some... Yes. Some avocado? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. 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 I was just going to say, we just thought it's stiff, you know. I'm going to say that... Right, you're right, you're right. We'll do that. And some sour cream. Sour cream. And salsa? Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the places we visited for yourself, there's more information in the description below. Hit the trailer icon to subscribe and here are some more of our camping adventures.